channel. So today I'm sharing with you some new dinner recipes. Two of them are crock pot recipes and I know you guys are gonna love them. I love using my crock pot in the summer probably just as much if not more than in the winter because a lot of times I don't like to get my kitchen really hot when it's already hot outside and we like to spend a lot of time outside in the evening so if we're not grilling then I like to use my crock pot so and you're gonna love these two recipes and then tonight I'm sharing with you a chicken and veggie bowl and it is gonna be so good I'm just using my regular chicken marinade recipe that will of course be down below but I have made it here before but I'm going to put it in a new kitchen appliance and I cannot wait to share it with you guys it's a 12 in 1 toaster oven slash air fryer I love it so I'm gonna go ahead flip you guys around and we're gonna get started on this chicken okay so here is what I'm talking about this is the toaster oven and air fryer all in one um, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna turn it on it does not have to preheat and I want to turn it on chicken even though my veggies are in there. Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay. There we go. 450 for about 18 minutes. Um, and I just layered my chicken in there along with some zucchini and squash with my drip pan under it. And we're just going to turn this on. And your fan's on high. We're going to let this cook. And, um, and then I'll check it about halfway through. And if I need to flip my chicken, I will. But I'm excited to see how this turns out. Okay, so it just beeped and it went off. It shut off by itself. And that's what it looks like. It looks really good and looks like it's done. So I'm gonna pull this out and we're gonna plate it up and I will show you all the final product. Here is what this looks like all plated up. I just did that rice on bottom, some of my veggies, my chicken, and then a couple of those lemon wedges just so we can kind of squirt it on top for a little added flavor. This looks so dang good and I'm so ready to dive into this. This full recipe is linked down below so you guys can check it out and make it for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my crock pot recipe and hopefully this way that I'm filming is gonna work. I wanna try something new, but I'm just gonna basically throw all of this in the crock pot. This is actually um, a different recipe that you're supposed to bake in the oven, but I thought it'd be fun to try it in the crock pot. So we're gonna try it. So I just have a pound of ground beef and I'm gonna dump this right in. And then on top of that, I have my pasta sauce and then I'm gonna dump in some of my frozen tortellini and I didn't cook it I'm dumping that right in I'm gonna stir that okay stir all of that and then I'm gonna add in some cream cheese and then I'm gonna let this cook on low for probably about three hours i don't think it's going to take very long just because everything's already kind of cooked besides our tortellini and that's not going to take long once it gets warm so i'm just going to cook this on low and then right before i serve it i will sprinkle on some italian cheese and you pretty much have a super easy dump and go crock pot meal so i did add in some water to just shake this up and get out the rest of my sauce and that's just going to help that cook a little bit especially with our tortellini in there and then I'm just gonna kind of cube our cream cheese and toss it right in as well, maybe. Okay, so this already looks so good, but I'm gonna pop the lid on and we're gonna cook this on low and then I will check this in about three hours. Okay, so this smells so good. It has been going on low for probably about four hours. Um, I shouldn't have started it so early because it literally only took like an hour and a half to come together. My cream cheese melted super fast, even on low. So if you need a super fast crock pot recipe and you kind of forgot about dinner, this is it. It is so good and so fast. And I did go in and add some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. You do not have to do that. It's totally optional, but I like that little bit of extra spice. Um, but there's plenty of flavor from like the pasta sauce and the cream cheese. So totally optional, but I am about to put some Italian cheese on this and then cover it for probably about 20 minutes and then we will eat it. So 
so this is the final product i did just sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top and we paired ours with corn you could do a salad or whatever side and i did try this and it was super good and like i said it's a quick crock pot recipe so i think your family will like it y'all let me know down in the comments if you try this one um, and what your family thinks of it as well okay so i am kind of meal prepping real fast so I thought I would show this really simple recipe. It is basically chicken salad and it's just a really simple recipe. Um, so I have about eight boiled eggs in here. They're already peeled. I'm about to mash those up. Then I have about three cups of chicken and I used, oops, that was loud. I used a rotisserie chicken. You can use um, just whatever you have. I like rotisserie because it already has a lot of flavor in it. And then about a cup of uh, Miracle Whip. Not mayo, but Miracle Whip. So I'm just going to mix all this together, add some salt and pepper, and then we will taste it and see. So this it's kind of hard to do one hand but the consistency of this is a really good and um, it's really creamy which is what you want you don't want this to be dry at all especially since it has the chicken and those egg yolks in here um, so the creamier the better in my opinion and then just salt and pepper to taste you can also add in some like lemon pepper in here if you wanted or you could get like a lemon flavored rotisserie that would be good I did the garlic one just whatever you like um, so yeah, we're gonna put this in a container and then have this for lunches this week Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some chicken and I have kind of trimmed it to however I like it um, just kind of cut off some of the excess pieces that didn't look too good And then I'm gonna kind of make it my own and I'm adding in some garlic powder I love garlic and just about everything as well as some onion powder and then we're gonna add some of this Italian dressing on top. It's all just gonna get mixed in and cook. Some of that Italian, and then two cans. Sorry if y'all hear Noah. Two cans of cream of chicken, just right on top. And then also some cream cheese. So. I think this is going to be really good. I think I have several <laughs> versions of crock pot chicken, but you just have to play around with it. Um, and that's what is so fun about recipes. You just add all of your favorite flavors and <laughs> see what comes out of it. Most of the time it's really good in a crock pot. You can't mess up chicken in a crock pot. You just kind of throw things in and it's really good. And then just some of this cream cheese on top. I'm going to break it up a little bit. Just so it'll melt a little bit better. If you do want this to be a little bit healthier, you can leave this cream cheese out. But I think it's going to be good and creamy. And then you serve this with rice or mashed potatoes or noodles. Any kind of carb will do. Okay. Put all of them in. I like to get as much of this off as I can so that I'm not wasting it. Okay. We're going to put our lid on. And then this is going to cook for, let's do high for four to five hours. And then we will come back and we will check it.
So here is what this looks like. We put ours over a bed of cooked rice. You can do noodles, you can do mashed potatoes. You can throw in um, like some broccoli or veggies with this. There are so many different ways you can do this, but this is really good. I just tried it. So maybe add in, um, it called for like Mrs. Dashes or Mr. Dashes uh, regular seasoning and I didn't have that, but I think it's fine without it. You can add that in if you want, but this is really creamy and so good. Anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling and we're gonna eat it, <laughs> but overall, this one is a winner. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you got some kind of recipe inspiration. And as always, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.